Oh, I pray to God that she will uh, hear, she will uh, speak, and also I pray for she will sing, because all our family is singing, and uh, I, I hope she also will sing with us, not in sign language, but in her own voice. Zlata was born um, in Ukraine, and uh, she was born and found to be deaf uh, at, at birth. And, uh, shortly after birth, uh, it became obvious to the parents that there was hearing difficulties. In the United States, we are very, very proactive about getting cochlear implants as, uh, as soon as possible, based on uh, data showing that the earlier you get the implant, the more likely you are to catch up with your peers at an earlier date with regard to speech and overall kind of academic outcomes. Early on, looking at the MRIs, we can see and look and identify whether or not there are cochlear nerves present in the patient's ears. That's kind of the first thing we look for, because if there's no cochlear nerves present, a cochlear implant won't work, because a cochlear implant stimulates that cochlear nerve. So on the left side, there really did not appear to be a cochlear nerve present on the MRI. And on the right side, you know, if you kind of squinted your eyes, you could make out, like, most likely, a cochlear nerve on that side. Zlata was referred to us um, as a second opinion from a different center and she came in for an evaluation so I learned about her history from her mother and then I took her into the sound booth and we did a hearing test. Testing for a two-year-old like Zlata, we do a listening game where we teach her when she hears a sound that she turns her head and she sees a light up toy or she sees like a short video. Um, so with Zlata, we didn't expect her to have any hearing. And so when I turned on a sound, she startled to the sound in her right ear. Um, and that gave us some some hope that she did have some hearing and she gave us a full hearing test in her right ear. It was severe to profound hearing loss in her right ear and then profound hearing loss in her left ear. Zlata's parents are doing a really great job at providing her early access to language through learning American Sign Language and teaching it to her. Um, and so every kid is very different when it comes to outcomes and a big part of that is parent support and educational support. Um, so we, we just hope that a cochlear implant can be a tool that can provide sound awareness for Zlata, that she can be more connected to her environment and things that are going on around her. On activation day, we can expect her to be hooked up to a computer. She'll have a cord um, and the processor will be on her head. Um, we'll take a few minutes before turning it on to get it all set up and to program it. Um, and then we typically like to start it at a soft level so we do not scare her. Um, and then kind of turn it up slowly looking for reactions to sound. Um, but reactions to sound for kids can vary from giggles to tears and anything in between. Baby. You hear his dead voice. His dead voice. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello. Daddy. Oh, yes. Oh, she's clapping. Yay. Yay. Clap, clap, clap. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you hear that. Yes. You hear. Yes. Ah. Oh. Wow. How I'm here. <laughs> She's like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what's happening? Then next Christmas she will sing with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> that would be wonderful.